What's good, YouTube? So this is my first video of 2019. Um, I purposely waited to do this video. You know, um, I wanted to make sure that all the New Year's resolution people got out the way and all this stuff. Plus, on top of that, I've come down with a head cold. Like, my sinus is all messed up. I got pressure headaches. I go from hot to cold. I mean, it's not a serious cold, but it's enough to affect my everyday goings. Anyway, so as you read in the card, today's video is about why I do not believe and New Year's resolutions. And again, that's why I waited, because I want to get all the riffraff out the way so that when I put this video out, I can make sure it gets straight from me to you without getting lost in the shuffle. Now, before we dive into all this, I need to clean myself up because I'm looking rough. I need to straighten up my house. I mean, looking, look at that. Got stuff everywhere. I mean, it's not like it's just terrible. It's mainly like I just need to pick up and put stuff back where it belongs. So, I'm gonna knock that out first, and then I'll be back to explain a little bit more about my thought process. So, you know, a few weeks ago, I got on the scale. Now, I've been slowly increasing in my weight for about the past five years. I competed all through high school and college, about a buck 45 to about a buck 60. Somewhere in that range, depending on if I was doing football or track. When I got out, I hovered around, you know, 165, 170 for a while, but I've been slowly going up due to injury, inactivity, bad diet choices, et cetera, et cetera. But for the first time ever, I got on the scale about, three weeks ago, and it read 210 pounds. Okay, so today it's reading 210. And that's when it hit me, it was like, you know, I gotta do something about this. And at that time I made a New Year's resolution, I was like, you know what, it's a few weeks before New Year's, New Year's resolution, I'm gonna knock off 20 pounds. But then it also hit me that, I've been telling myself that for a while, and I'll get after it, but then I'll make bad diet choices or, something so i had the bright idea like stop making resolutions just do it now if you don't feel like doing something just do it now and that's what i'm doing in today's workout my first official vlog workout of 2019 i picked all the exercises i absolutely hate doing just to kind of break that crust instead of putting it off if i don't feel like doing it do it now let's go I'm so glad that I went ahead and did that workout, even though, like I said, it was my least favorite workouts, and they about took me out the game early. But I'm glad I did. It really flared up my cough and my runny nose, though. Um, but I guess it's just helped me sweat it out. Whew! If you don't feel like doing it, just do it. So right now, it is pretty cold out here. It's a gloomy gray evening. And my man Smooth is ready to start training. He started going on his college visits now, so it's time for us to really, really get after it. He's been gone on break for holidays, which is reasonable. I mean, we all needed a break. So, like, now he's getting ready to start back with me. So, we're about to get them feet and them hands right. <laughs> Eagerness, and he brought us a fancy little speaker, so we won't be bored out here. Your bones are just more cracking. Like, right 
leave you outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. He hasn't been working as much. Now he hasn't been slacking. He just took a break like I expected him to. Legs burning a little bit, but that's why we starting back now because he has until when you got a report. It'll be what March when you got a report. Spring ball. So we got some time. We got a couple months. He'll be ready. See that man? That's one of the most hardworking kids I've ever worked with right there. He's gonna be great one day. Remember this, YouTube. I had him on my channel. When he was just a little high school kid, well, he ain't little. But when he was from Perryville, woo, I can't get it to focus. If I ain't get bull rush, then like, I ain't gonna be on like that. And I like to back like that and shoot the feet through his head. That's exactly what you do. Okay. Kick stepping, come on in. If you catch me off guard, I shoot the feet back. Yeah. And then I, then I can take it. And I'll just make they, sure you know that. They told us that it's more like, it can't be soon. I think he's on the phone with the coach now. Let's spy on him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. See ya. Who was it? Uh, I knew it. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So after what I think was a very, very productive and successful first day on my new grind of just doing it, it's time for me to sit down and explain to you what I meant by the title. Now as you read, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Now let me explain. The reason I say that is, you're setting yourself up for a lie. You know, uh, New Year's resolutions is like you're planning ahead to lie to yourself. And I don't know about you, but I really don't like lying, I definitely don't like lying to myself. So why would I set a goal knowing that I'm gonna wait on it to possibly break it? If you look in the gym, for instance, every year at the start of year for the first two weeks to maybe a month, month and a half, the gym is packed. Because everybody made New Year's resolutions all year to be like, oh, I'm gonna start working out on this day, or oh, I'm gonna get in shape, oh, 2019 is my year. Well, why can't that happen right now? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't make goals for yourself to better yourself. I'm saying why put them off for January the 1st? If it is October the 7th and you know I need to lose 10 pounds, I need to get active, or I'm gonna stop eating after eight, or I need to stop smoking cigarettes, do it on October the 7th. Why tell yourself, well I'm gonna do it on January 1st and then just chain smoke away or just pig out every night, and then come January the 1st, you'll get started, get going, just to let yourself back down. Start on it now, and that's what I meant when I said earlier, my first day of just doing it. Um, my mentor said something to me, uh, it was a while ago, but he was like, Mike, you know, there's a lot of times where I don't feel like doing it. nothing. But I have to tell myself, just do it. And you know, I've done it a couple times in the past, but after doing it today, I really, really, really understand what he means by that, because when you make a plan for yourself and you follow that plan through, it feels good. But nothing feels better then getting something done, you really didn't feel like doing it. And then once you're done, you're looking back like, man, I'm glad I did that. I mean, like, think about if you've done any sports. Think about the day at practice where, like, you really didn't want to be there. You were really tired, you were really sore, beat up, whatever. But at the end of that workout, then you always tell yourself, like, man, I'm glad I knocked that out. Because on the flip side, if you don't go and push through that workout, it starts a snowball effect of you falling off. So when you don't feel like doing something, just do it. And in today's video, I want to show you guys a whole bunch of things that I really just don't feel like doing ever. Now the one thing I did leave out was cleaning up the kitchen. I absolutely hate washing dishes, I hate it. But by the time I had finished washing them, I was like, ah, oh, I should have recorded that. So I just recorded myself picking up other stuff in the house because I don't mind cleaning, but I hate washing dishes. But the point was, I didn't feel like doing something, so I just did it. When I went to my workout, I picked exercises absolutely despise. And I knocked them all out because I was like, let me compound them all on top of each other. And I have to say, it's giving me a lot of motivation for tomorrow's workout because I knocked them out. I know whatever I do tomorrow, I'm enjoying more than what I did today. And then 
I'm going through a cold. Like right now, I feel fine because I just got out the shower. I blew my nose out, take my medicine. So I'm feeling pretty good right now, but I'm fighting a head cold and I didn't want to be outside in the cold. It was super cold out there at the field with Smooth Day. Super cold. My man never wears jackets and he said he was cold. And then it made my nose run. I was stopped up. I couldn't breathe, but now I'm glad I did it because I got to sweat out a little bit of my sickness. I got to give my man some good work. And I've knocked another thing off the list I really didn't feel like doing. So I said all that to say this. Make goals for yourself and follow them now. Don't wait. Don't put them off. Don't wait on January the 1st. Don't wait on your anniversary. Don't wait on your birthday. Don't wait on your best friend. If you want to make changes in your life, do them now. As soon as you make the goal, do it. So like the title says, I hate New Year's resolutions. Don't make them because you're setting yourself up to start off a brand new year with a lie to yourself. Just do it.